Hello. Well, I'm not Severn, but I'd just like to say some words about how what's going to happen now. Well, Severn is doing a speech that was built using uh, Twitter hashtag Real Social Six Minutes, and this we also use Facebook, Pinterest, and uh, Twitter, as I said, to build this speech, which which is a very nice moment using the power of social media, the social media posts, getting the word out of people all around the globe, thousands of contributions, and then we just put a speech together and Severn has his own words about that. So let's welcome Severn's Curly Suzuki, please. It is an absolute honor for me to be here and to be delivering to you the six minute speech that was written by you all over the world. This moment, is too important to stay quiet. Leaders from every part of the world, from government, industry, and civil society are convening in Rio de Janeiro, right here, this week to discuss and make decisions about the kind of world we will live in and the kind of future we are leaving the next generation. Our voices matter in this discussion and they make a difference. 20 years ago, Rio hosted the 1992 Earth Summit, which focused on the global environmental and sustainability problems of the time. As a 12-year-old girl, I flew to the summit from Canada to remind world leaders of what was truly at stake, the future of my generation and of all future generations to come. I said to them, do not forget why you are attending these conferences, who you are doing this for. We are your own children. You are deciding what kind of a world we will grow up in. The 1992 Earth Summit focused the world's attention on sustainable development. Today, the issues are even more serious. They are even more relevant and urgent. Pollution has changed our climate. More than a billion people are living without electricity. Children are still dying of preventable diseases, malnutrition, and simple dehydration. Too many people are struggling to get by, living in poverty, often, often without safe drinking water or enough food. At the same time, the 1% continues to get richer. We can, we must do better. As the global community gathers for real plus 20, as the world's delegates begin to arrive tonight, we again need committed citizens to speak out, to push for progress, to tell world leaders that we care about what is going on in Rio and beyond. Two decades ago, I was one girl speaking to one room. Today, thanks to the revolution in technology and social media, each of us, each of you watching this, has a megaphone that carries and connects our voices in every part of the world. We must use that megaphone to in inspire a revolution of change. In recent weeks, people from across the world have harnessed Twitter, social media to join the dialogue around Real Plus 20. Individuals from Kenya to Russia to India to the United States and Brazil have shared their concerns about our present and about our shared future. Their messages created a mosaic of a cleaner, healthier, and more vibrant future. This is the future that the world wants. A future where we all can breathe clean air and drink clean water. Where we have turned the tide against the pollution that threatens to swallow our oceans. 
where every person has access to electricity and the benefits that it brings, where, the power, where we power the world with clean energy from the sun, the wind, and the soil. We envision a world where the Earth's natural treasures are protected and preserved, where no person goes hungry and poverty is a problem of the past, where children get the nutrition they need, the education they deserve, where women and girls are empowered and human rights are respected, where preventable diseases don't take the lives of children and childbirth complications don't take the lives of their mothers where healthcare isn't a luxury to some, but available to all, where a young, every young person has the opportunity to work and every community has the opportunity to prosper. We envision a world where our actions can reflect our words. These are not platitudes or banalities. These are hopes. These are our hopes for the future based on the expressions of people around the globe. Building this future won't be quick or easy, but it could be the most important thing that we, we can do. While the challenges are big and complex, we have the solutions. We have them right now. The world's economic, social, and environmental problems are closely intertwined, and they require a comprehensive, approach to create solutions and they require an understanding of the ecological reality of planet earth as a baseline framework for the structures that emerge. Rio plus 20 is the opportunity to move forward on a sustainable development agenda that protects the environment, that advances social equity, an agenda that embraces the definition of sustainable development as that which meets, meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. This week, the United Nations has brought everyone to the table, government, the private sector, civil society, and concerned global citizens to find ways to move forward. Realizing the promise of a sustainable future will require innovation, collaboration, and of course, action. Nations need to work with each other and the UN on global solutions, while also taking steps at home to encourage sustainable development. Businesses need to embrace corporate's responsibility and lead by example. Civil society organizations need to become as efficient, creative, and effective as possible. And individuals need to hold leaders accountable and get involved, whether it's volunteering in their neighborhood or supporting the global initiatives. You don't need a fancy title, huge sums of money to make a difference. You have a voice. Now use it. We all have a role to play in building a better world. Those of us in this room, those of us participating online, are on the front lines of the sustainable development movement in the 21st century. We come from every walk of life. We come from every corner of the world. But we are united for our hope for a brighter tomorrow. The stakes are high. The challenges are great, but progress is possible, beyond possible. Progress is necessary. That's why today can't, today isn't, the end of this conversation. History isn't made by those who stand silent or by those who decide not to decide. It is made by those whose ac actions reflect their intentions. It is up to each of us here to continue to speak out for the future we want. And together we are becoming a voice too loud to ignore. Future generations 
are at stake. We must seize this moment. Thank you very much. Thank you.